Well, I'm very excited. This is something a little new for Tyler and I. We are exploring new water, which is always fun for us, but this time we're doing it with a canoe. We're gonna coast down a river, a new section of river to us, and explore all the holes that are along the way. We, I did some Google Earthing, and there looks like some really nice water down here, so excited to go hit that. We're looking mainly for salmon and trout, and uh, from what I've seen so far, there's a lot of fish around, so we should get into them pretty good today. So looking forward to a big day. Should take the whole day to do this section, so we've got lunch packed and everything, and we're just gonna make a full day out of it. So yeah, really excited to hit the water here. You ready for that, eh? Yeah. I think this is probably the worst of it though, really. Smash my yeah, finger. Up there is worse you think? Tyler, you see three times out of the water. I think it's a steelhead. Maybe a Chinook. It's dark, so probably a Chinook. Finally hooked up. Had to go to a spoon. I don't like fishing a spoon, but it's again so effective up here. What have I got? Oh, that's a beauty. It's a steelhead. Yep. I don't know. Should have been maybe a spawn bag. Uh, not my camera. <laughs> He's a jumper. That's what's so different about these fish, right? They don't act like southern steelhead. I think I got you whipped. I got gotcha. you. First fish of the trip. That's a good way to start. That thing came out of the water like six or seven times for sure. I think Tyler missed the first few, but look at that. Beautiful steelhead. Uh, yeah. Chinooky hasn't jumped yet like a steelhead. Salmon. Nice. It's got like red in its belly, yeah. like a looks like an Alaskan king. Look at that. Nice fish, buddy. It's got some heft. Yeah. Very nice. That is awesome.
I think it's another steelhead. I wonder if it's salmon. Could be. It only jumped once. The steelhead, steelhead would have been out more. Maybe. It could just be down bulldogging too. Oh, geez, it's way over there. Uh, I think it's salmon. Yeah. I thought I saw a little reddish on the bottom. Oh man. really wants in that wood. Oh, I think I'm gonna win. Wow, what a battle. That's what I love about them. Oh yeah. Yeah, buddy. Another with that red on it. Look at that. Look at that. Not super huge, but right in the corner of his mouth there. Well, look how thick they are. I know. That's awesome. Well, this is turning out really, really good. We have not drifted very far yet, and we've seen some pretty incredible water already. Uh, Tyler landed that big Chinook early this morning, and uh, yeah, what a big fish. And that pink in the belly got like those Alaskan Chinooks. What a great fish. And then I landed that steelhead, and it just jumped and jumped and jumped uh, seven or eight times for sure. It totally cleared the water. Like, they're just a different breed up here, these steelhead. And that last Chinook just kicked my butt. That was such a powerful, strong fish. Just ran and ran and ran and pulled and pulled and pulled. Yeah, we have not seen much of this river yet, and I'm looking forward to the rest of it so hopefully we keep catching fish like this because we're having a really good time yeah, which way you want to go, right or left? I think you have to go I don't know I almost just want to go down to the island and explore <laughs> we'll get to the end of it I guess the bend Yeah, buddy, I saw your float just drop. Rainbow? Yeah. Well, I called the depth thing, that's for sure. I think it is, anyway. I'm not so sure. No. What is that? Oh, that's a rainbow. Yeah, yeah. Or is it just a fresh Chinook? I don't know. It's really... It's a Chinook. It's a chrome Chinook. Yeah. It's a very chrome Chinook. Doesn't have a lot of battle in it for a... Spawned out. Look, it's spawned out and it's that silver. Look how silver that is and oh, it's spawned out. Don't lose your rod. 
just right away, as soon as you dropped it there, eh? Bonk. Bonk. Nice. Nice. Will it go or not? There she goes. Yeah, he'll go or not. Oh, yeah. How's that feel? Wow, that's an incredible fish. What a fish. There he goes. There he's got some wiggle back, you know? So just pulled over here, taking a little bit of a break, uh, eating some jerky and kind of exploring Tyler was off looking for tracks, found some wolf tracks, and yeah, just taking a minute, but what an incredible fish he just had. That rainbow was awesome. The coloring and the spotting, what a beautiful looking fish. And uh, we're seeing lots of cool new territory, and you know, around every corner, well, that's the cool thing, is around every corner is something new. We have no idea what's coming up next, and we're just finding some incredible holes, and we're getting some fish, and just having a good time. And we've got a lot of river to cover yet. We actually haven't really gone that far yet. We've been goofing around and fishing so much, we haven't gone very far, so there's lots of river to check out yet. I think it's a bit tired. It's got a pretty white beat up tail, so I think it's already tired. It's got a little drag pull into it. Is it gross? Come on, grab his gross maggoty tail. <laughs> grab the gross oh, fungus <laughs> Grab the fungus tail. Come on, Tyler. Okay. I grabbed your fish. That was pretty. <laughs> That's gross. I'll beat him right at that. There he is. Well, it's not the prettiest one, but it's another fish nonetheless. Action's been pretty consistent. This is awesome, so I'm gonna get her back. So again, I mean, again, she's done spawning, but we'll let her live out her days here and get her back. But there you go. Got lots of spunk for being a spawned oak fish. Tyler's hooked up. Chinooky, you think? Yeah. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not a bad looking one, but if it goes down there, I'm in trouble. I think I might be in trouble in a minute. Oh, he turned. Yeah. It's 
like a little Chinook. Pretty square on the rock. Oh, pretty heavy guy. Oh yeah, it's Chinook. It's like there's one that'll cooperate in every hole. That is a hen. Eh? That is a hen. Look at that. It's got like a rosy cheek. Get ready. Oh, get ready to put it back. Look at yep. the speckled belly and everything. I don't know that that's normal. That's, that's, I don't know. The hen, get her back. Again, these are all wild fish. This is how they maintain themselves. We're gonna put them back for sure. There's no stocking here, so these fish are the, keep the fishery going. There we go. Nice job, buddy. Yeah, I want to. Tyler just landed a humpy on the spinner. So that is pink salmon. The big hump on his back there. Kaipi. Yeah, what a cool fish. They are cool fish. A lot, of, a lot of people don't like them, but. Well, they are fun. They're a lot of fun. They keep you busy. They keep you busy between big fish. We've been doing lots of eagle watching. I've never seen so many eagles in one area. We have saw, at one time we saw, there were six different ones in the air at the same time. And I think it's a mix of, I think they're golden eagles. We think they're golden eagles anyways. And there's bald eagles and immature eagles, but the one that looks like a golden eagle is way bigger. So, I don't know. And just the number, it's just because there's so many fish in this river. I think the numbers are really high because they're just feeding on all these fish. But yeah, pretty cool. Lots to do, catch fish, watch eagles, see the scenery. It's been a pretty good float down so far. I don't even think we're halfway yet though, so we may have to we may have to uh, start paddling a bit. Pretty cool scenery, a little different than most northern stuff. They're like they're HD. It's hot. Copy time. Check for floaties. No floaties. No floaties. We're good. Judgmental on the floaties. French roast. Ooh, sweet. Best cafe. The wind's really picking up now. Time to get back at her. This is definitely one of my favorite spots along the trip so far. All this big rock outcropping and then right up there, it's a beautiful sand beach where we got the canoe and stuff. It's just awesome. This is such a great area. show you the bait that it's caught most of the fish today. Unfortunately, it 
than a little Cleo. I'd much rather catch them on my center pin or on a fly, but this hardware just catches them so good it's hard to put it down. Oh, I thought it was a snag. Did you see me try to pop that? I did. I totally tried to pop that. <laughs> That's hilarious. Salmon? Probably. I hope you got that on film. Yep. I see, like, try and, try and pop it off. Well, yeah, because it was right, it hit right there, right where he is now, right on Yeah, the where the rocks are. So I thought I hooked a rock. It's not huge, like, it's little Chinook or maybe a rainbow? I don't think it's a rainbow. We would have jumped more by now. It's got that pink belly again, yeah. Fish. Flip his belly to me for a sec. Just a second. Uh, yeah. It's not. Okay. Yeah, this is very. It just almost follows that same contour right down. That is a tiny pink. Yeah. I'm going to land him so I can say I landed him. Not goofing around. Hey, come on. I haven't landed a pink yet today. They keep getting off. Little girl again. There, I actually landed one. Finally. I've lost a bunch today, but I haven't landed one. This little female pink. I was hoping for a big humpy, but I'll take this one. Another species on the day. What happened, Tyler? I'm an idiot, and uh, I left my keys way that way. So you left your keys in my truck, but your car's at the other end of the route, so we could go back up to get my truck. That's exactly what I did. So we kind of have a dilemma. We have to figure this out somehow. At least he didn't wreck the whole day. It's almost the end of the day when he remembered, so we only have to stress about it for like another hour maybe, and then we'll have to figure out how we're going to get back up to my truck, where his keys are for his car that's down there. So I think this is the end. So we're starting to lose light, but what an awesome day we had. That was a really great time. We caught fish, which was great, but we saw some amazing country and explored new water. And again, if you watch my channel, you know I love exploring new water. So yeah, we really enjoyed this river. What a lot of fun catching fish. Everywhere we looked, there was fish. Uh, the scenery was amazing. The eagles were amazing. We just had a great time. So yeah, really glad we brought the canoes up this year. We've been talking, again, we've been talking about this for years and never really get around to it. But this year we finally did it. And yeah, it's going to be amazing. Now, the only trick is when we get back to the car is how we're going to get back up to my truck because we still don't have keys because of that guy but we'll figure it out and we'll get back so I hope you enjoyed this and I hope I'll see you outside oh I pinch ow <laughs>